Our next step on the coast to coast takes us through the Yorkshire Dales and onto the edge of the moors. We head to Keld and take the low route through a misty Swaledale, stopping at Reef. Then we have a rain soaked day as we pass Richmond and make it out of the Yorkshire Dales. For day 9, we make our way across the flattest section of the coast to coast before crossing the busy A19 up onto Ingleby Arncliff, ready for the final push through the North Yorkshire Moors. Good morning. Well, we're on to day 7 and it's uh, gonna carry on being a mental and physical slog I feel. Had a decent snipe kip. So hopefully we'll get towards Reef sometime today. Still not a bad view to wake up to is it? Just hearing the lap wings flying about. The old grouse. We managed to make it to Reef and we stayed at Orchard Caravan and Camping Park. I didn't do any filming because it did feel a little bit awkward in a busy campsite uh, and I did try to explain this in the next clip but the wind ruined all the sound. And they uh, sorted it out with power lead as well so we could have a power bank for each other. Great flat spot. It's lovely, can't complain, moan breath, luxury, got my tea on the table and sat down on the chair, and a uh, hot shower, so that was the best 20p I've ever spent in my life, for that 5 minutes of hot water, just cleaning you off. Same, I've still put the grimy clothes on, but you take the little look 
country when you can. I'm going to stock up with some snacks at a shop because uh, the lakes took it out of me so I ended up eating all my snacks in uh, well just to get some energy back but feeling nice and recharged for day 8 not much further to go not much Persistent rain now. We have been pretty blessed with the weather so far though. I didn't do any uh, filming of the camp on day 8 because we were stealth camping because it's getting hard with the camp now we're out the dales and uh, I didn't feel too good I ended up throwing up outside my tent last night not the best but uh, I think I just had far too much rich and silly food my eyes got the better of me in the co-op and went a bit crazy but I feel okay this morning other than the pains and aches that are standard by now it's uh, pretty uh, pretty draining that's for sure but at least today the sun's out after constant rain for most of the day yesterday anyway let's get moving it's like walking through Lincolnshire not too difficult just nice gentle now the hills that separate us from the east coast 
on the end. Oh, to be honest, I mean, I'm bloody sh shattered, everything aches. My socks are wet today, so I've got damp feet all day. Got socks drying on my backpack. Oh, my socks were wet. Munching down the miles, then that's what we can keeping our focus on each day. So it's gone from a pretty nice day to absolutely belting it now. Too bad for uh, one fall in uh, 100 odd miles so far. Rather fall somewhere soft rather than like falling in the light district. now and we're bloody exhausted Then another close to 80 miles today climbed up to the top of Ingleby Arn Cliff and found somewhere we can just crash out looks popular though there's loads of tissue that people haven't disposed of which is lovely of you anyway I'll give you a quick tour of my tent. Yeah, I realised I haven't actually shown my tent so far, really. But this has been my home for the last eight nights. So it's been like an outdoor single, uh, single person, one person, whatever you want to bloody well call it. Anyway, it's it's snug. It's done its trick. I would like a bit more room, it makes getting changed a bit hard. I've got everything in here, I've got my Sierra Design Nitro Quilt, keeps me warm. Got the Super Summit, Everlight, got a Super Summit pillow, and all my just stuff over there. Just using water bottles. I've got two water filters with me. The water filters, I was, I have a live straw peak series that I ended up freezing. Well, I'm pretty sure I froze the filter. I couldn't get a replacement in time because it was only shipping from Europe. So I went on to Valley and Peak and brought a uh, um, quick draw platypus filter. Platypus, quick draw, whatever. Uh, ordered it. Nice sent through the B3 which was a bit oh I don't need that it doesn't fit mine so I sent them an email back saying that they um, sent the wrong item could you uh, let me know how to return it and they just told me to keep it so and then they sent the next one straight away next day so I got both now, when they told me to keep it, I thought I'd give it a try. And it actually fits around the life straw, so it does fit in. Seal's a bit loose at times, but it does work. So, I'm a two filter kind of guy. That's me. Anyway, we've got uh, another long day ahead of us, but we're in the North York Moors now. So not far 
until we get to uh, East Coast. And I can't bloody wait. Thank you.